Hey everyone, welcome to Cruise Blog. This is Angie, and today I'm going to talk about 17 tips that will help you decide whether or not you should get a Royal Caribbean drink package for your next cruise. Let's get started. You've paid the deposit on your Royal Caribbean cruise and are officially in cruise countdown mode. Of course, Royal Caribbean is not an all-inclusive cruise line, meaning if you want to indulge in cocktails and certain non-alcoholic drinks, you will either have to pay for each individually or purchase a drink package, which will allow you to enjoy unlimited beverages each day of your cruise for a fixed price. First, it is important to understand what drinks are included in Royal Caribbean's base fare. Rest assured that even if you decide to pass on a drink package, you will always have included drinks to choose from throughout the duration of your cruise. Royal Caribbean includes select beverages in your base fare, such as water, milk, tea, regular and decaf coffee, lemonade, iced tea, flavored waters, juices during breakfast, and hot chocolate. In theory, it is possible to take a Royal Caribbean cruise and not spend a penny extra on drinks. However, you will be more limited in options and won't be able to enjoy things like soda, alcoholic beverages, iced coffee, and more. Consider how much you would pay upfront for a drink package versus how much you think you'd spend buying each drink individually. All of Royal Caribbean's drink packages do not have a set price. Instead, they fluctuate based on the ship, itinerary, and sale date. Royal Caribbean's Deluxe Beverage Package, the only alcoholic option, usually costs anywhere between $63 to $102 per person per day, plus 18% for gratuities. It is just about all-inclusive, meaning you can enjoy as many beverages as you want each day, even if all the drinks are made with top-shelf liquors. For those under the legal drinking age or who do not frequently drink alcohol, there's the Royal Refreshment Package. This non-alcoholic package is more reasonably priced, ranging from $29 to $38 per person per day. Finally, Royal Caribbean offers the Classic Soda Package that costs around $13 to $15 per person per day. With each soda on board costing around $3.50, you would only need four to break even. Yes, it is possible to break even on a Royal Caribbean drink package. Before deciding if you should purchase one of Royal Caribbean's drink packages, you will want to calculate how many drinks you typically consume each day on vacation. You will want to make sure you will be able to break even to ensure you're getting your money's worth. With cocktails costing around $10 to $14 each, some quick math should help put into perspective if the deluxe beverage package is worth it for your stateroom. On average, the deluxe beverage package is only worth it if you drink more than five to six drinks each day. For some, it's easy to consume six drinks in a day on a cruise. For others, it might be more difficult to reach that threshold without pushing themselves to drink more than they normally would. Drink fatigue is also a consideration. Some cruisers feel they find themselves drinking more than they normally would simply because they want to get their money's worth from the drink package. It is easy to order a drink solely because you can and feel that you should. On a shorter cruise, you will likely find it easier to drink more than you normally would to utilize the drink package fully. Shorter cruises also tend to have a more lively and party-like atmosphere. On voyages that are longer, drinking heavily each day can get tiring and cause drinking fatigue. When it comes to the non-alcoholic packages, the threshold is pretty similar since the a la carte drink prices are lower. It would take about five to six zero-proof cocktails to break even with the Royal Refreshment Package, while drinking roughly four sodas per day will make the classic soda package worth the investment. If you're able to snag a good deal, the daily average might even be lower. Are you gonna cruise to Europe or the Caribbean, maybe the Bahamas or Alaska? It doesn't matter. Drink packages are offered on every Royal Caribbean cruise, regardless of your itinerary and ship. Plus, you can enjoy your drink package in just about every venue and restaurant around the ship during your cruise. Do you want a drink by the pool? You can either wait until a server approaches you or walk up to the pool bar yourself. What about a glass of wine at dinner? Whether it's in the main dining room or specialty restaurant, go ahead. However, some specialty restaurants have their own unique drinks, so you may feel inclined to give one of them a try instead. Whether you are wanting a glass of champagne after dinner, a cocktail when you're relaxing poolside, or need to wake up with a morning latte, you can utilize your Royal Caribbean drink package all day long. Unlike other cruise lines, Royal Caribbean does not offer different tiers of alcoholic beverage packages for guests to choose from. Since there's only one package, 
you can look forward to many high-quality liquors. Think Grey Goose Vodka, Patron Tequila, Hennessy, and more. The Deluxe Beverage Package includes all cocktails, beers, and wines by the glass valued up to $14, plus soda, non-alcoholic cocktails, bottled still and sparkling water, specialty teas and coffees, Johnny Rockets shakes, and freshly squeezed juices. In addition, you will get a 40% discount on bottles of wine under $100 and 20% off all bottles above $100 in bars and dining rooms. When it comes to the Royal Refreshment Package, you could think of it like the Deluxe Beverage Package's younger sibling. The main difference is that the Royal Refreshment Package is the non-alcoholic option. That being said, it includes enough to keep anyone more than satisfied and refreshed. It includes all non-alcoholic cocktails, Coca-Cola freestyle beverages and soda refills at any venue, bottled still and sparkling water, specialty teas and coffees, Johnny Rockets shakes, and freshly squeezed juices. Finally, if you're someone who loves having 100 plus soda options to choose from, you'll want to get the classic soda package. With this, along with every other drink package, you will get a souvenir cup to use at any of the freestyle machines on board, which includes more than just soda. Most freestyle machines also offer vitamin water, Powerade, and Minute Maid lemonade. You'll also be able to use this package to enjoy sodas at bars, lounges, the Windjammer Cafe, and the main dining room. If you are on a ship that does not have a freestyle machine, you'll be limited to these options to utilize your package. Note that this package only includes soda. If you're interested in bottled still or sparkling waters, specialty coffees, or other non-alcoholic beverages, this is not the option for you. You will have to pay for everything else by the drink, which could result in a large bill at the end of your cruise. You can pre-purchase your Royal Caribbean drink package to save money. Royal Caribbean allows cruisers to purchase various drink packages in the online cruise planner before their cruise begins. By doing so, you can take advantage of pre-cruise sales, meaning you'll be able to score a drink package for less than you would if you bought it on board the ship on embarkation day. During cruise planner sales, prices for the deluxe beverage package can drop as low as $48 per day. Do not, however, rely on pricing like this. The average is usually somewhere between $65 and $85 per day. As mentioned earlier, the deluxe beverage package is priced dynamically, with some sailings having more expensive rates. Even with a discount, that can easily add an extra $1,000 to your cruise total, especially if you have more than two adults over the legal drinking age in your cabin. The non-alcoholic packages are less expensive and can be found on sale too. The average of the Royal Refreshment Package seems to be somewhere around $28 to $37 per day, while the Classic Soda Package hardly ever drops below $8 or $9 per day. Buying your drink package ahead of time will also make your embarkation day a little bit smoother. You will not have to worry about waiting in line to purchase it. Instead, you can head straight to the bar and grab your favorite beverage to enjoy before all the fun sail away festivities begin. Don't, however, pre-purchase the package if your first few days are port intensive. When purchased in advance, Royal Caribbean requires passengers to get the drink package for the entire duration of the cruise. If you wait until partway through your cruise, you have to purchase the drink package for the remaining duration of your cruise. In other words, if you are on a seven night sailing and decide to purchase the package on day three, you will have to get it for days four through seven. Note that for shorter sailings with three nights or less, Royal Caribbean only allows cruisers to purchase the drink package on the first day of the sailing. Beverage packages are really easy to use. You can simply use your CPAS card to access your package as it will clearly indicate whether or not you have a drink package. Even if you do not get a package, your CPAS card will indicate how old you are so minors will not be able to try and purchase an alcoholic beverage. Without a package, you'll use your CPAS card to pay for each drink that you order. This is why it is crucial that you have your plastic cruise card with you at all times. Without it, you won't be able to make any onboard purchases. Plus, you'll be locked out of your cabin. You cannot share a single deluxe beverage package with others to save money. If purchasing the deluxe beverage package, every guest of legal drinking age sailing in the same stateroom must also have the drink package. This is an important consideration when deciding if the drink package fits your budget. Even if only one person in your cabin decides that they want the alcoholic package, 
then all other adults assigned to the same cabin will be required to purchase one too. There are, however, some exceptions to this rule, such as traveling in the same stateroom as someone who is pregnant or who does not drink for personal or religious reasons. You will need to call Royal Caribbean directly to get an exception to the rule and purchase a non-alcoholic beverage package for the other person. It cannot be done online through the cruise planner. If you're caught sharing, you could potentially get your package revoked with no refund, and that is not what you want to happen on your vacation after splurging on the package. Note that if one person in the stateroom purchases either the Royal Refreshment or Classic Soda package, not everyone else is required to do so. However, if anyone other than the assigned individual wants to order soda with the package, they will be required to get their own. In other words, no Royal Caribbean drink package can be shared. Don't plan on ordering more than one beverage at a time. When you go to the bar, you cannot order more than one drink at a time unless you present a second sea pass to the bartender. Oftentimes, bartenders will enforce a 15 minute waiting period too. This prevents guests with a package from ordering a drink, handing it off to someone, and immediately being able to order another drink for themselves. So what happens if you order a drink valued more than $14? The good news is that very few drinks are over $14. If, however, you decide to order something more expensive, the difference will be charged to your onboard account. Let's say that you want to try a $20 glass of wine. At the end of your cruise, you will notice the $6 was charged to your CPAS account. It, along with any other onboard purchases, will have to be settled prior to disembarkation. Consider the drink package if you want to step outside of your comfort zone. You might have your favorite go-to drink, but why not try something new while on vacation? With a Royal Caribbean drink package, you will be able to step outside of your comfort zone and try drinks that you might not even think about it if you're paying for each individually. Plus, Royal Caribbean has specialty cocktails in their venues. If you get a drink that you don't like, it's not a big deal. Just simply order something else. The deluxe drink package is unlimited. If you decide not to get the package, Royal Caribbean allows you to bring a limited amount of alcohol on board with you on embarkation day. Passengers of legal drinking age may bring one 750 milliliter bottle of unopened wine or champagne per person in their carry-on luggage. They can also bring a maximum of 12 17 ounce unopened cans or cartons per person. If you choose to bring a bottle of wine or champagne on board and consume it outside of your stateroom, like in the main dining room during dinner, you may be charged a $15 corkage fee per bottle. Royal Caribbean also offers water packages. If you fear dehydration, don't worry. You can have water waiting for you in your stateroom on embarkation day. 12 bottles of water usually costs around $30, while the price of 24 increases to around $55. Of course, these are pre-cruise prices. You can expect to pay more if you purchase bottled water once on board. If you're in a rush getting ready to make it to a shore excursion on time, you will be thankful that you can just grab a bottle from your stateroom's mini fridge before heading out the door. Plus, you will save money if you were to buy each bottle individually. If you are hesitant about purchasing the classic soda package because of its limited offerings, think about pairing it with a Royal Caribbean water or coffee package. While these are not unlimited, they allow you to enjoy the convenience of grabbing the water from your stateroom before lining up to disembark at a port or indulge in a set amount of specialty coffee beverages throughout the duration of your cruise. The Cafe Select Coffee Card costs around $31 and includes 15 specialty espresso-based beverages. Note that depending on what size of coffee you order, this could mean two shots are used in crafting the beverage. Purchasing this and a classic soda package will be cheaper than a single Royal Refreshment package. If you want free beverages, rise up the ranks of Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society. Some of the highest tiers of Royal Caribbean's loyalty program, known as the Crown and Anchor Society, have some drink benefits. While you won't get any free drinks until you reach diamond status, after your first cruise, you will get two coupons for 50% off any glass of wine, beer, or soda. You'll also get 50% off two Johnny Rockets milkshakes. When you reach 80 cruise points, you'll become a Diamond member. Each day of your cruise, you'll be given four complimentary daily drinks valued up to $14. They can be used for specialty coffee, soda, wine, beer, cocktails, etc. Diamond Plus members get five daily drinks, while those in the highest tier, the Pinnacle Club, get six. 
Passengers earn one point for each night they sail, with two points per night awarded for stays in suites. Guests traveling solo will also earn two points for each night. Another way to get free drinks is to spend some time in the casino. Those who love to gamble will be delighted to learn that you might be able to score free drinks depending on how much time and money you spend while in the casino. As a benefit with Club Royal, complimentary drinks are offered in the casino during operating hours to Prime, Signature, and Master's guests, states Royal Caribbean's website. In order to reach Prime status, you must accumulate 2,500 points. Members of Club Royale get some benefits too, such as a discount on Wi-Fi, an annual complimentary cruise, and more. You can also use the package while docked at Perfect Day at Coco Cay and Labadee Haiti. Royal Caribbean currently has two private destinations, Perfect Day at Coco Cay in the Bahamas and Labadee Haiti. You can use any of Royal Caribbean's drink packages at their private destinations. You do not have to worry about racking up a separate bill after paying for the package. Just like on board, the bartender will check your CPAS to see whether or not you have a package. If you don't, all drinks will be charged to your onboard account to be settled at the end of the cruise. Those with packages will not be charged anything extra. So, do you think you'll purchase a drink package on your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to visit cruise.blog for more cruise tips and advice.